I'm Darren the Magic Ghostbuster and in this video I'm finally taking a look at the Ghostbusters franchise playing cards released for the 40th anniversary of Ghostbusters. So here we are, these are the Ghostbusters franchise playing cards. These were of course arranged by the Buffalo Ghostbusters who arranged Ghostbusters Day at the Firehouse. And this being the 40th anniversary they got different franchises from around the world to submit their logos. So it says 50 plus franchises, 40 years of Ghostbusters in one community coming together. And um, I was lucky enough to get my logo in here. So my friends, South End on Sea Ghostbusters, Spirit of 84 and many others. Quite good showing from the UK. Um, now the one downside to these is the company that the Buffalo Ghostbusters used to make these turns out to be very greedy with the postage when it comes to international shipping. Um, now you might argue shipping's gone up. I'm a magician. I buy a lot of playing cards from all over the world. Quite regular. The company they're using to, to ship these, make these, they're just so greedy with their postage, I'm sorry. Has to be said, uh, and it's unfortunate. Luckily, uh, Simon from Ghostbusters Chorley, who also got in, he had a friend arrange to get a few of these and give them to us at the firehouse. But I would have liked to have got more decks, but unfortunately, price-wise, it's just not feasible. But anyway, let's uh, open these up. So they are sealed. So I really wanted to get a deck to keep sealed and a few for tricks, really more than anything. Um, so I'm trying to be careful with this. So it is a, it's a real shame. And I just want to point out, I'm not blaming the Buffalo Ghostbusters for that. I think that's entirely on the company that makes these. So first up, we have a sheet and so this shows us all the different franchises that got in. And then the sponsors, the sponsors, gbfans.com, Ghostbusters News, the Moogly Fan Club, the Shrek Family Ghostbusters. Lovely to meet him on Ghostbusters Day, awesome guy. And uh, the Yes Have Some podcast. So uh, yeah, very, very cool. Now I don't know how they decided what uh, franchises went on what cards. I'm assuming they had an order in mind and went by the number of votes. But I could be... Uh, wrong on that. Um, I was just happy to see that my logo ended up on a spade really because my logo is a, literally a spade. So it would have been, looked a bit odd had it been on um, something else. But anyway let's take a look at the back. So um, funnily enough the back looks very much like the South End on Sea Ghostbusters logo. So um, it's almost like a South End on Sea Ghostbusters deck. But um, I really love the design of this. You've got the firehouse in, in the corners. Um, obviously these were made in conjunction with Hook and Ladder, so you know, very cool to have the firehouse there. You've got the different ESP symbols in the back and some proton streams. And then... Oh, so that's interesting. No, normally when you buy a deck of cards, they are in what we call new deck order. Um, so they'd go... I can't remember the exact new deck order now, but you'd go like Ace, uh, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, Jack, Queen, King, and then repeat, basically, of the different ones. Or is these just uh, completely randomised? So, um... The sponsors are on the Jokers, so there's the one of the Jokers there. Let's find the other Joker quickly. So there's two Jokers there, so there you go, there's the other Joker with the sponsors on. Uh, so, yeah, so I think really I just have to go through the uh, low, <laughs> through them one at a time. So, um, and obviously if your um, franchise is in here, be sure to let us know in the comments. It's Ghostbusters Chorley. That is uh, Simon Gray's franchise, who uh, I was honoured to go to New York with. Yes, like I said, uh, let me know if you're franchise if you are one of these franchises in the comments. Spirit of '84, Chris Carter, so very good friend of mine. Uh, glad to see him on there. And if, and if no, these aren't your franchises, just let us know what your favourites are, really, like logo-wise. South End on Sea Ghostbusters, so, like I said, very uh, similar to the back design there. And I believe they got the most votes, I believe. So, uh, clearly the best one. <laughs> I'm just going to put that to one side for a moment. So it's cool just seeing all the different um, all the different logos. I think is really cool. 
And, and, and it's incredible. I mean, there's so many different Ghostbusters franchises and logos. I mean, I can't remember the exact number that was submitted, but I think there was definitely enough submitted where they could have made two two decks or even slightly more. Um, and I know some people complained, or oh, wait, to make another deck. Well, you know, it's money and everything, isn't it? So There's nothing to stop someone else making a deck, though. Now, I think they said they're not going to make another deck in the future. I could be wrong. I... There's some very cool logos on here. If they do another one, I might submit my uh, Vigo uh, cosplay for your uh, logo. Don't know if they'd allow that. Hook and ladder. I'm surprised they didn't put hook and ladder on the Ace of Spades, actually, to be honest. Uh, Norfolk Ghostbusters, I know them very well. Great bunch of guys. So there's mine, obviously, obviously the best one. <laughs> I'm only joking. Um, yeah, so very, very uh, cool deck of cards, certainly. Now, would I use these for tricks? You know what, if, if the shipping was just wasn't absolutely stupid, I would have definitely bought four or five of these and used some for tricks. As it stands, I'm going to keep these for collector's purposes only. They do feel pretty decent quality. Um, probably not the sort of quality I am used to, I'll be honest, as a magician. I normally prefer the linen cards where they spread very nicely. These don't really seem to want to spread very nice. But, um, but I don't see why I couldn't do tricks with these, certainly. Um... So, yeah, uh, like I said, if if the company that made these sorted the shipping out, I definitely would have bought some more. So, yeah, it's a bit sad. But other than that, I mean, it's a great deck, and it is obviously for a worthy cause. So, um, so overall, you know, I think these are fantastic. And, yeah, if you, wa you want some, obviously check out Buffalo Ghostbusters' uh, Facebook page where they have all the uh, info on how to buy these. But anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this deck, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Until then, keep on busting. Want to give a big shout out to the magic Ghostbuster. Hey Darren, very, very impressive.